In this tutorial, we're going to look at importing and using DXF files. So before we get going, it's worth having a quick look at the history of the DXF format and why it's still relevant today. Uh, DXF was introduced by Autodesk in the early 80s with the Autodesk AutoCAD product. And the format is supported by every commercial CAD software available, uh, meaning lots of vendors are able to provide DXF files um, with drawings of their parts, which makes them very useful for using it in other CAD packages such as FreeCAD. So we're going to look at how to import those files and convert them into 3D geometry. So to start, we're going to create a new file, save it, give it a name, and save. So now I'm going to import the file. To do that, I'm going to go to the file menu, import, I'm going to go to my downloads. So I've downloaded a selection of DXF files from 8020. That's a company that makes um, aluminum extrusions that are very popular in the maker community. So now I'm going to import this 2020 section. To do that, I'm going to select the file, click open. The DXF file is now imported. We can see it in FreeCAD as a set of individual entities. So that's no good for us if we want to extrude this shape and use it as a 3D solid. If we look in the hierarchy, each of the individual shapes is represented. Um, so what we need to do is, is group these together in some way to form um, single lines or single elements. To do that, I'm going to switch to the draft workbench. So this particular DXF is made up of two basic sketches, one internal, one external. So we should be able to convert these into two FreeCAD entities. Um, to do that, I'm going to go to the Edit menu. I'm going to choose Box Selection. And I'll drag a box around the internal set of entities. So that selected them in the hierarchy. They've turned green in the 3D view. Now we can use this up arrow that converts all the selected elements into one single element. So I'm going to click that and we can see that's now converted all those into a wire. With it selected in the hierarchy, I can press the space bar to turn it off from the 3D view. I'm now going to select all the remaining entities to convert into a single wire. So to do that, I can press shift and B to turn on box selection. I can press and hold the left mouse button and drag a box over all the elements. With those, with that done, I can now click the up arrow to convert into a single wire. And we can see in the hierarchy, we've just got two wires. So I'd now like to convert these wires into sketches to use in the part design workbench. Um, so to do that, we can choose this icon, which is convert bi-directionally between draft and sketch objects. So I'm going to left click that and I'll select the second wire and do the same. You can now see we've got two sketches and we can delete the original wire elements. So at this point, I'm going to save. To make this easier to use in the part design workbench, I'd like to uh, merge these sketches into a single sketch. So we can do that from the sketcher workbench. I'm going to left click on the first sketch, hold control, left click on the second sketch. And then from the sketch menu, I'm going to select merge sketches. So now we've got a third sketch, sketch 002. I'll delete the first two sketches that we started with. So now we have a single sketch with all the elements contained within. Um, so I'm going to save. I'll then switch to the park design workbench and to make sure we've got sketch two selected and then we'll create a body. We'll choose the XY plane and click OK. So now we've got sketch two contained within our body and with that done, if we select sketch two in the hierarchy, we'll click pad. I'm just going to leave it at 10 millimeters, click OK. Choose the isometric view, fit. We still have the draft grid turned on, so we can turn that off by pressing GR. 
and we'll refit and then we'll save. So we've quite quickly converted the DXF file into 3D geometry. Um, as the profile of the aluminium extrusion will never change, the only um, variable that we've got now is the length and that can be changed in the data tab or by editing the pad. With that done, I'm going to save. So there we have the 2020 extrusion um, model from a DXF import. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, if you have, give it a thumbs up. If there's anything you'd like to see in future videos, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.